Raccoons are known for their impressive problem-solving skills. Toronto spent over $31 million in years of research to create raccoon-proof trash bins. Designed with a special raccoon-resistant lock, the new organic waste bins were distributed with great fanfare. The locals cheered. And what about the raccoons? Well, after a few attempts, they were in. Again. City officials said it's physically impossible for them because their hands lack opposable thumbs. So how did the raccoons open the bins? Let's start from the beginning. Raccoons can be found in various habitat pockets around the world. This map shows their native range in red and their introduced range in blue. While they inhabit diverse environments, they are particularly abundant near urban areas. For instance, in Washington, D.C., you can find up to 100 raccoons per square kilometer. However, this isn't the highest population density recorded. Toronto, often referred to as the raccoon capital of the world, boasts a population density three times greater. Here, the so-called trash pandas have been particularly adept at getting into the garbage bins of Torontonians. The Canadian media regularly reports on the raccoon war. To tackle the problem, raccoon-safe trash bins were listed as a top priority for the city council. The new organic waste bin had to meet strict design requirements. It had to be suitable for temperatures of 40 degrees and above and below zero degrees Celsius. It had to be light enough not to cause injury, but heavy enough not to be easily toppled over. A rotating handle on the lid connects to a disc on the inside, which, when the lid is shut, fastens into a gravity lock made in Germany. You can open the bin by turning the circular latch or turning the bin upside down to 110 degrees, which triggers the release of the gravity lock. In tests carried out with the bins, raccoons couldn't open them. However, two weeks after the new green bins were rolled out across the city, the first raccoons got in. A reporter from the Toronto Star found out. Amy Dempsey caught the masterminds on camera in her own backyard. One of her videos shows two smaller raccoons climbing on top of the row of bins. They try to open one, but fail. A bigger raccoon arrives, easily pulling a bin to the ground. The big raccoon moisturizes his hands. Then, in one swift motion, no fumbling, no struggle, it turns the handle and opens the bin, just like that. The raccoon then looks directly at the camera as if to say, did you see that? And it wasn't the only one who'd figured it out. Raccoons are known for their impressive problem-solving skills, but why do some of the animals get in and others don't? Well, their success depends on different things. First, raccoons are generally well adapted physically for scavenging in dumpsters. Similar to humans, they have five long fingers, the perfect tools for lifting and manipulating objects. And not only that, their sense of touch is remarkable. Mother raccoons, for example, teach their young to wash their hands first and start searching for underwater snacks afterward. Water sensitizes the paws, and this helps them find food more easily. People sometimes think the animals are washing their food, but that's a myth. In fact, they investigate objects more easily underwater. They can literally see things by feeling them with their wet hands. When they find an object, they can tell by touch alone whether it can be eaten or not. They can rotate their feet through 180 degrees and climb down objects head first. Their limbs are perfectly adapted for banded life. And the same goes for their brain. Raccoons have a huge number of non-neuronal cells in their central nervous system. One category of these non-neuronal cells is called glial cells. Glial cells play a significant role in planning, decision-making, and memory. In 1913, Walter Hunter conducted pioneering memory tests on raccoons to check if they are capable of these cognitive skills. The experiments involved a setup with three doors, behind one of which was food. Dogs and rats could find the food while staying focused on the door. But when they were distracted, they failed. Human kids, on the other hand, could remember the correct door even when they were distracted. And so did raccoons. They demonstrated impressive memory skills, consistently choosing the correct door to access the food. This study showed that they might be as smart as kids when it comes to problem-solving skills. 
Hunter's research laid the groundwork for understanding raccoons as intelligent and adaptable creatures. Since then, Hunter's findings have been supported by several studies. Research published in 2022 showed that their personality also influences their problem-solving skills. During a classic learning test housed inside a small wooden box, researchers observed that docile raccoons were more likely to learn how the devices worked. The scientists had expected that bolder raccoons would be more likely to interact with the testing devices. However, the tests ultimately showed that shy raccoons are better learners than aggressive ones. Why is this important? Well, currently, urban wildlife management tends to focus on bold animals. In the case of Toronto's trash bins, the designers mainly focused on strength and largely overlooked their intelligence. Despite their physical condition and personality, another factor influences their cleverness. Us, humans. When Toronto's new trash bins were tested, raccoons couldn't open them. However, this was a test setting, not the real street. Raccoons that were roaming free in big cities had opened hundreds of bins with different locking systems over the previous couple of years. With every new trash bin system, the animals are served a new challenge. And when they solve it, they receive a delicious reward instantly. Scientists assume that raccoons are getting smarter with every new trial. The more obstacles you throw in their way, it becomes more challenging, one expert says. It's quite possible that by providing more and more obstacles, we are, in fact, selecting for smarter raccoons. So, in short, every time we build a better bin, we are also building a smarter raccoon. But hey, raccoons are not the only wild animals that are perfectly adapted to a big city life. Check out our Wild to Know playlist and get to know many more cool city dwellers.